What's up, dear Huncho Boogie? I'm finna do the purse so sweet with Hot Thought TV. What's up? Huncho Boogie tapping in. Shit, like I say, everybody call me Huncho Boogie. And shit, how I got that name? Shit, that Bookie, that's another story. My auntie did that shit, but nigga always ran shit, so that Huncho shit just came out there. I'm from Hearn Clark, Texas. That's on the south side of Houston. I gotta say, the south side of Houston. But we on the north side right now. Hell yeah. We on the north side. 1960. Man, that shit, that shit different everywhere. Like, it's different niggas, different style. Been out here like a whole nother city to me. Like, but like, how that shit go, it's real niggas everywhere. Like, that shit don't change. There's gonna be hoes everywhere. It's gonna, when I say hoes, I mean hoe ass niggas. It's gonna be real street niggas, and real niggas gonna link up, like, regardless, no matter what side you on. Yeah, shit. That CK, really. So, really, like, I'm a 5 9 bounty hunter. But that really, I just never liked the letter, honestly. And that's just something different, like. I just feel like spelling my name, H-U-N-C-H, that shit just ugly to me, you feel me? It ain't even much like a full game thing. It's just, I just find that unique, the way I spell my name, you know what I'm saying? That ain't nothing I ever seen nobody do. You know what I'm saying? I done had labels tell me like, well, we probably such and such, if you can change or not, I can't change my name. Yeah, that's that's me, that's my signature, you know what I'm saying? Weird enough, bro, funniest shit of them. I got all sisters. Like, my brothers was out in the pen or in another state. So, funny enough, bro, I heard all bitch music. Like, I'm talking about, like, Alicia Keys, Tamia, fucking Doja Cat, fucking Beyonce, Fantasia. Like, I ain't, whenever I did start listening to just, Shit from my mama back seat that wasn't that it was, bro. I couldn't even tell you. Like I really don't even listen to that. I rather listen to them bitches sing than these niggas cap. Honestly, really. But when I do, like today, I feel like Rawway, Fred O'Bain, fucking uh, I like when they send me cowboy. I rather listen to Houston, bro. I feel like for every major nigga that's out there, it's a nigga in my city that sound got the same way, but probably better than that nigga. So like. Before I listen to Raw Wave, I don't listen to my own shit. Before I listen to uh Moneybag, motherfucking that nigga Phrase be going off and the flowers be going off. Laray ho, but he be going off. That hoe hard. Laray is hard, bro. Motherfucking motherfucking uh bef man, it's niggas in my city, you feel me? Who I feel like just match it. E greedy, hard. Gigi O Kurt, hard for I listen to Well, I, I CJ, that's my nigga. But before I listen to Money bad nigga, I'ma turn up to my brother shit. Like so that's just really that on that matter. Nah, that's my brother. Yeah. Literally. Like we got the same daddy. Oh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that my brother. Yeah. As obviously like you can tell, we in two different totally different lanes with the music shit. But how we do it is, well, now I ain't gonna lie, it got a little more complicated now that we both, like, got significant buzz. Like, beforehand, we can just go in the studio and record, record. Like, bro, we got, like, a hundred songs, like, literally. But now it get a little more difficult, bro. We ain't been in the studio together in, like, probably two times in two months, and both of us in the studio every day. Like, it got, it did get a little difficult. Like, so every once in a while, we'll try to drop, like, an old song, and it'd be even difficult to shoot videos because... We both got our own houses now. We both got our own everything. It do be hard. I ain't gonna lie to you. I be missing my nigga. Like, but one of us gonna, I say six months, one of us gonna be out of here and it's gonna get a little easier. But right now, yeah, he got his own thing going on. Like, that shit, like, your next question probably was gonna be about that beef shit. Like, that, that be, that's some whole other shit. Like, I told him, forever, you know, I'm coming behind you, but. We finna be rich, bro. We can't even be entertained in that shit. But, yeah, we yeah, we be on some whole other shit. But at the same time, you know what I'm saying, that bun will never break.
that shit, bro, that shit came about years and years ago. Like, and people always ask me that. Like, they be like, damn, y'all getting into it with Bugatti now, and y'all just met CJ. And it's like, we ain't just me, CJ. CJ just now started coming down here. So y'all be like, them niggas with him every day. And people don't realize, like, that shit really okay. So let me see. When Kurt Kurt started rapping before me, so when Kurt first started rapping, that was somebody had Kurt had reached out to him. Bro, just happened to be a real nigga, and, and we linked up this about three, four years ago. You know what I'm saying? And now it's just to the point where, like I said, we built up enough buzz for him to be like, "Bitch, I'm finna pull up," and and, and it wouldn't be like he just with some randoms. It'd be like, "Oh, that go Bookie Kurt and CJ." You know what I'm saying? So. Like I said, bro, just a real nigga. We knew him for a while. Hey, yo, it wasn't just no 2020 link type shit. Yeah. That's my dog, Jeremy. It, it's like, it's a few real niggas that I say, like, it's a couple niggas that I say rap that I wouldn't even recommend you fuck with because niggas really be hoes. Like, it be the main niggas that you hear rapping about real street shit. They be hoes. Lil Jeremy. CJ, fucking, uh, man, I can't vouch for too many. I ain't gonna lie to you, but them two for sure, for sure, real street niggas. I fuck with Jeremy. That's my dog. Like, I can call him right now. He coming. That's my dog. Yeah, see, bro, with that shit, bro, I ain't gonna lie. I didn't feel like with so many of my own niggas behind that shit, like, like whenever, okay, so like whenever I first, first, first started rapping, one of the first Houston niggas that I felt like was hard was that nigga Loretta Savage. And you know, he from Third Ward, I'm from the clock, so I had a couple niggas. Man, I feel like with my nigga, cause bro told me, you do a song with Loretta, you might as well not come back to the hood. And I'm like, what? You feel me, who, you gonna feed my son? How you gonna tell me what not to do to elevate myself? And I just feel like that that's when I really, really, really had noticed. Like, I had outgrew that click shit. Like, that shit can't do nothing for me. Like, forever my niggas, forever my niggas. And I understand blood been shed and that shit can't never go back. But at the same time, I'm not saying I'm finna do the song with the nigga who actually killed my nigga, cause that nigga probably dead by now, but I'm not finna limit myself to how I can grow because you don't like where this nigga grew up. Just like they don't like where we grew up. You know what I'm saying? So really, bro, respect is just a mutual thing. Like, man, I got niggas who Crips. I got niggas who GDs, BDs, and all type of shit, bro. I don't care about that shit, bro. It's just respect. So niggas gonna forever be stuck in one spot as long as they worried about which basketball court these niggas can go to that you can't go to. I don't, that shit lame.